Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm your girl Katrina and today I'm going to be showing you how to create beautiful digital mock-ups for your business using Canva. No need to worry if you don't have any fancy software like Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator, you can do this using Canva. So I'm going to show you how you can do it, how you can create beautiful mock-ups for your business in no time. Now don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because I'm bringing you weekly tutorials, tips, reviews, and more to help you start and grow your business. So without further ado, let's jump into desktop mode and let's get this started so that way you can be making beautiful mock-ups in no time. Let's go. Okay, so I am in Canva. So I do have Canva Pro just to let you know, I do pay the monthly subscription so that way I can have all the extra added benefits and features without having to worry about um, certain things. And it does come in cheaper than paying for Photoshop or Adobe. In my case, I pay for both. But if you had to choose between one or the other, you might want to consider Canva Pro. I don't have any affiliation with them, so I'm not trying to sell you the program. Just trying to let you know that you can unlock certain benefits if you have Canva Pro, like extra fonts, removing the background, different things like that. Now they do have the smart mock-up feature over here in the left-hand corner where you see my hand at. Smart mock-up feature allows you to access all the different templates. You can do smartphones, you can do watch. I mean, you can literally create a mock-up for pretty much anything. So if I type in T-shirt, you can have all different type of t-shirts and then they give you different options like regular t-shirts, flat lays. Let's just, I'm just going to click on some so that way I can show you what they look like. So you have all these different mock-up styles. And as you can see pro, this is included in my monthly subscription. So you can't get this. You can't get the smart mock-up feature if you do not have Canva pro just to let you know. Now this is just like your standard freestanding t-shirt, but you can also do regular t-shirt mock-ups as well. So if I just type in t-shirt, you can actually have t-shirts with people, with kids in different settings, in different scenarios. So you can go through here and you can use all of these mock-ups, different styles. Now it's just not with mock-ups. You can put things on mugs as well you can have mugs with people you can have mugs without people so just letting you know canva has all these great mock-up options as well for you to use but again this is with the canva pro so if you don't have canva pro i'll show you how you can use this and if you do have canva pro maybe i'll do this in a separate video using the smart mock-ups but for this video we just want to keep it really simple and i'm just going to show you how you can create mock-ups without using the smart mock-ups if that makes sense okay so this is going to be basically for people who don't have Canva Pro, but just know if you're considering Canva and if you want to get Canva Pro and if you didn't even know that they had this feature or option, this is an added benefit that was recently added and you can come in here and create all types of mockups. Let's just see. They have frames. I mean, you can literally do pillowcases. You can do pictures, whatever it is that you're selling. There's pretty much a mock-up for it even candles even candle mock-ups I'm telling you so cool so cool okay so nevertheless let's go back to the home page now I'm going to show you how you can create a regular mock-up so now when you want to start creating a mock-up you're going to come up here to create a design I'm going to click that on, you can click on t-shirt or you can create an actual mock-up size that you're going to use like in square form you can actually create a custom size the max is 5,000 by 5,000 pixels but I'm going to do 3,000 by 3,000 that's going to give me a really nice square shape and I'm going to create a mock-up like this now I did pull in some images already so I'm going to just use that I'm going to pull in a background so now when you're trying to create a mock-up inside Canva and if you don't have Canva Pro I would assume you have gotten your background or your flat lay or whatever it is or your t-shirt image from somewhere else 
whatever mock-up you're trying to do now was trying now most of these mock-ups aren't perfect squares so just for the sake of this video i'm going to leave it because i don't know the actual measurements of this mock-up so i'm just going to leave it like that and just expanded it pulled out the corners to make it fit so i have my blank t-shirt here that i pulled i got this from creative fabrica so if you follow me you know i use that site a lot or whatever site that you use you can have your own mock-up and all i did was upload my image i uploaded my image and i pulled it over here so now i have my blank black t-shirt my flat lay and now all i'm going to do is i'm going to insert whatever design that i am selling whatever my logo is whatever my design that i created on my shirt my graphic i'm going to have it already in a png file meaning it has no background because again canva pro you can remove the background okay so just to show you i'm just scrolling through these images that i have already up here on my file so i'm going to use this image as you see this image has a white background behind it so now canva pro which i have if you have your image you can't remove the background with just the regular standard Canva, the free Canva version. You would have to remove the background. So with Canva Pro, you can click on edit image and then you can see right here where it says BG remover. That means you can remove the background. It's waiting, it's doing its magic, and now it's going to remove the background for me with no issue. Now I can take this image of these beautiful sunflowers, whatever it is, and I'm gonna put it on my shirt. It'll center it up, it'll create those lines. I wanna make it just a little bit smaller. It's too overpowering on the shirt. And I'm gonna leave that just like that. Now I can come in here and I can add some text. I'm going to come over here to my text toolbox and I'm going to just type in something. I need to change the color. And now I'm just going to type in something real simple. Mom life. And of course I need to, I'm going to make that gold. I'm going to match the color. Gonna take this dropper tool and I'm gonna put it right on top of like the yellow so that way I can get pretty much the perfect match. Center that up and boom, I have me a Sunflower Mom Life t shirt. And now all I have to do is come over here, click share, and I'm going to click download. Now, because this is on a flat lay already, it doesn't necessarily need to be on a transparent background. I can um, crop this white out. I will go ahead, click transparent background, but you can always come here, select which file type you want it in, which format you want it in, JPEG, PNG, PDF, uh, however you want it. You can save it like that and all you would do is download it. I'm not gonna download it because I don't technically need this file. I'm gonna continue and show you how to do some more mock-ups. Okay, so that's how you do it really quick and easy. Pull your own flat lay image into Canva and then you pull your own design into Canva or you can create something in Canva as well. I'm just gonna add a page. I'm gonna show you another one. I'm gonna go back to my upload. This is um, a mug design. Actually, let's do this one instead. So this is a mug design. I'm just gonna expand it just a little bit more. Okay, so now I have two blank mugs. So again, you can do this with anything. I have these nice, beautiful butterflies. This one is already a PNG file. As you can see, there's no background on it. So this is perfect. I'm just gonna bring it down to size. You want it to look realistic. So you have to make it fit. Your image has to fit on whatever it is that you're trying to create a mock-up for. Okay, so I'm gonna bring it in just a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead, copy, paste to duplicate it. I'm gonna bring that over. And now I have two butterfly coffee mugs. I'm gonna bring it down, center it just a little bit more. There we go, perfect. Look at that. I'm creating mock-ups inside Canva. 
How easy and simple is that? So again, all I did was upload all of these images into Canva, wherever you get your images from, wherever you get your flat lays from, wherever you get your graphics from, you upload them like you normally would into any software, upload them. And all I'm doing is bringing them over. So again, they would have to be, your images would have to be in PNG format already. PNG format already with the background already removed. And so that way you can come in here and just put it on because if it has the background, you will need to use the background remover and you will need Canva Pro for that. Okay. So here's just a few more examples I'm going to show you before I end the video. I'm rotating, I'm flipping. You can type in vertically or horizontally. You can fit any graphic, any design, or type in any text onto your mockups. You want it to fit seamlessly onto your mockup so it looks and appears as if you actually made it yourself. But as you can see, I'm doing everything digitally. So this was just a really quick, simple way to create mockups using the free version of Canva using different type of mockups. So I hope this video was helpful. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any other questions. There's so much you can do inside of Canva, but I want to keep this video as short as possible. And if you need any further assistance, if you have any other questions, let me know in the comments down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.